Laboratory Safety Guidelines View laboratory sessions described in this manual use chemicals, such as strong acids and bases, that are dangerous if handled improperly. Some lab sessions use open flame or other heat sources, and many use glassware. To state the obvious, you can get hurt working in a lab fortunately, there are steps you can take to minimize or eliminate hazards. Remember this, if there is even the slightest chance that you will be exposed to any hazardous chemical, always wear chemical splash goggles, gloves, and protective clothing. We follow this advice ourselves, without exception. Learning Objectives 1. Identify, recognize, and assess the hazards and risks involved in working in the laboratory. 2. Observe the use of personal protective equipment while in the laboratory premises. 3. Practice the protocols on chemical safety and chemical waste storage and disposal. General Guidelines 1. Conduct yourself in a responsible manner at all times in the laboratory. 2. Be familiar with your lab assignment before you come to the lab follow all written and verbal instructions carefully. If you do not understand a direction or part of a procedure, ask the instructor before proceeding. 3. No student may work in laboratory alone. The lab instructor or co-coordinator grant exceptions on a case-by-case -case basis. 4. When first entering a laboratory, do not touch any equipment, chemicals or other materials in the laboratory area until you are instructed to do so. 5. Do not eat, drink beverages or chew gum in the laboratory. Do not use laboratory glassware as containers for food or beverages. 6. Smoking is not allowed in any indoor area. 7. No music allowed in the laboratory. Radio and other entertainment devices are not permitted. 8. No cellular phone is allowed in this laboratory. 9. Perform only those experiments authorized by the instructor. Never do anything in the laboratory that is not called for the laboratory procedures or by your instructor. Carefully follow all instructions, both written and oral. Unauthorized experiments are prohibited. 10. Observe good housekeeping practices. Work areas should be kept clean and tidy at all times. 11. Horseplay, practical jokes, and pranks are dangerous and prohibited. 12. Always work in a well-ventilated area. 13. Bring only your laboratory instructions, worksheets, and report to the work area. Other materials, books, purses, backpacks, etc. should be stored in the cabinet or put below the whiteboard. 14. Know the locations and operation procedures of all safety equipment including the first aid kit, eye wash station, safety shower, spill kit and fire extinguisher. 15. Be alert and proceed with caution at all times in the laboratory. Notify the instructor immediately of any unsafe condition you observe. 16. Label and equipment instructions must be read carefully before use. Set up and use the prescribed apparatus as directed in the laboratory instructions provided by your instructor. 17. Experiments must be personally monitored at all times. You will be assigned a laboratory station at which to work. Do not wander around the room, distract other students or interfere with laboratory experiments or others. 18. Write your name and equipment use every time you come into the laboratory in the logbook. 19. Defeating safety devices or using equipment in a manner other than that which is intended will be grounds for dismissal from the lab. Protective Clothing 1. Safety goggles and laboratory gown must be worn whenever you work in lab. 2. Gloves should be worn whenever you use chemicals that cause skin irritations or need to handle hot equipment. 3. Mask should be worn every time you prepare the chemicals. 
4. Rubber shoes should be worn at all times while in the laboratory. 5. Contact lenses should not be worn in the laboratory unless you have permission from your instructor. 6. Dress properly during a laboratory activity. 7. Long hair, dangling jewelry, and loose or baggy clothing are a hazard in the laboratory. Long hair must be tied back and dangling jewelry and loose or baggy clothing must be secured. 8. Sandal, open-toed shoes, high heels or shoes with holes in the soles will not be worn in the lab. 9. Short and skirts are not permitted. 10. Instructor have a right dismissed to you from the laboratory if they found that you are not wearing proper safety clothing. Handling chemicals. 1. Treat chemicals with respect and understand the chemicals you are using with Material Safety Data Sheet MSDS. The MSDS are available in the analytical room. 2. All chemicals in the laboratory are to be considered dangerous. Do not touch, taste or smell any chemical unless specifically instructed to do so. 3. Check the label on chemical bottles before removing any of the contents. Take only much chemical are you need. Smaller amounts often work better than larger amounts. 4. Label all containers and massing papers holding dry chemicals. 5. Never return unused chemicals to their original containers. 6. Never use mouth suction to fill a pipette. Use pipette bowl. 7. Acids must be handled with extreme care. Always add acid slowly to water, with slow stirring and swirling, being careful of the heat produced, particularly with sulfuric acid. 8. Handle flammable hazardous liquid over a pan to contain spills. Never dispense flammable liquids anywhere near a flame or source of heat. 9. Never take chemicals or other materials from the laboratory area. 10. Take good care when transferring acids and other chemicals from one part of the laboratory to another. Hold them securely and in the method demonstrated by the instructor as you walk 11. Sinks are to be used only for water and those solutions designated by the instructor. 12. Cracked or broken glass should be placed in the special container for broken glass. 13. Keep hands away from your face, eyes, mouth and body while using chemicals. Wash your hands with soap and water after performing all experiments. Disposal of chemicals and solid waste. 1. All wastes generated during the course of an experiment must be disposed of according to the lab instructor's directions. 2. Never mix chemicals in sink drains. 3. Solid chemicals, metals, matches, filter paper, and all other insoluble materials are to be disposed of in the proper waste containers, not in the sink. 4. Checks the label of all waste containers twice before adding your chemicals waste to the container. 5. Organic solvents are miscible with water and are inflammable. Different labeled containers should be used for storing the solvents. 6. Solvents like acetone, ethanol, and benzene may be redistilled for reuse and cleaning purposes. 7. Acids and alkalis should be neutralized before pouring them down the sinks. Accidents and injuries 1. Report any accidents, spill, breakage, etc., or injury, cut, burn, etc., to the instructor immediately, no matter how trivial it may appear. 2. If you or your lab partners are hurt, immediately tell to the instructor. 3. If a chemical should splash in your eyes, immediately flush with running water from the eye wash station for at least 20 minutes. Notify the instructor immediately. 4. Spills should be cleaned up immediately. Handling glassware and equipment. 
one. Inserting and removing glass tubing from rubber stopper can be dangerous. Always lubricate glassware, tubing, thistle tubes, thermometer, etc. before attempting to insert it in a stopper. Always protect your hands with towel or cotton gloves when inserting glass tubing into or removing it from a rubber stopper. 2. When removing an electrical plug from its socket, grasp the plug, not the electrical cord. 3. Hands must be completely dry before touching an electrical switch, plug or outlet. 4. Examine glassware before each use. Never use chipped or cracked glassware. 5. Never use dirty glassware. 6. Do not immerse hot glassware in cold water, it may shatter. 7. Report damaged electrical equipment immediately. Look for things such as frayed cords, exposed wires and loose connections. Do not use damaged electrical equipment. 8. If you do not understand how to use a piece of equipment, ask the instructor for help. 9. Be careful when lifting heavy objects. Lift comfortably, avoid unnecessary bending, twisting, reaching out, and excessive weights, lift gradually and keep in good physical shape. 10. Do not transfer a glassware form one laboratory to another without permission from instructor. Heating substances 1. Do not operate a hot plate by yourself. Take care that hair, clothing, and hands are a safe distance from the hot plate at all times. Use of hot plate is only allowed in the presence of the teacher. 2. Heated glassware remains very hot for a long time. They should be set aside in a designated place to cool, and picked up with caution. Use tongs or heat protective gloves if necessary. 3. Never look into a container that is being heated. 4. Do not place hot apparatus directly on the laboratory desk. Always use an insulated pad. Allow plenty of time for hot apparatus to cool before touching it. 5. If leaving a lab unattended, turn off all ignition sources and lock the doors.